What is up, everybody? I am not going to waste any time. I'm going to get right to it. J. Cole was right. Point blank, period. J. Cole was right. And I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. Now, I wanted to wait to make this video because I wanted to sit back and kind of let the dust clear a bit uh, between the beef with Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Now, it is, to my understanding, recently it seems like Drake is going to kind of try to continue this. We'll have to see. Uh, but for the most part, I think the consensus, the general consensus is that Kendrick won. But I want to present something in this video because I really think that both guys, Kendrick and Drake, did a really great job of exposing each other and also exposing the industry that they work for. Because that is one thing that Kendrick said that I really, really do stand behind when he talked about how there's a lot of freaky and a lot of weird things that go on in this entertainment industry that us as consumers, us on the outside, really have very little idea of. And even if we think about it, like when you really in those situations, you really see it, it might just blow your mind. And I think that's also why a guy like J. Cole chose to hop out of this situation, okay? Now, I am one of those people who felt like when I first heard that J. Cole did, you know, his little diss, I was like, okay, J. Cole, all right, I'll see you. And then a couple of days later, or a day later, it seemed like, you know, he, he basically was like, look, I'm good, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna get involved. And I, I was around a bunch of other people who love music and love rap and whatnot, hip hop. And everybody was like, look, that's a sucker move. Matter of fact, you see a lot of, uh, you know, old school rappers were kind of clowning him a bit. Like, oh, that wasn't the move. I wish he would have called me. I think Jada was saying, Jada Kids was like, I wish he would have called me. But here's the thing, right? I feel, I feel like what J. Cole understood was this. When he made that song, I think in his mind, he has a lot of respect for both guys, Drake, Kendrick. And I, I believe that he felt like, you know what? These guys are great rappers. I respect them. And I think he kind of felt like, you know, maybe this could be like a friendly little sparring. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to make my song. They're going to make their song. We're going to go on the road together, make some money, and it's all good. But what I believe he came to find out was like, look, these, these two guys are going to get very messy. And I'm not talking line now. Messy, messy. All right? These are the type of guys that's going to try to get in touch with your baby moms. <laughs> your homeboys, your high school friends, your old school teachers, people in your neighborhood, they trying to pay off to get dirt on you. And they'll even make up stuff if they can't find it. But like these, these battles today is really meant to try to assassinate your character. And what happens is, is this, the rappers may reconcile. We've seen that before. We've seen that with Drake and Meek. You know, we've seen where rappers just, you know, kind of come together and it's like, it's whatever. But the problem is, is that although those entertainers are, you know, they're around the same circles and they know they're going to run into each other. And a lot of times it's nothing. What about the people around them? What about the fans? Right. What about the entourage? Do they think it's it's sweet? And what I've seen, I have not seen <laughs> in a very long time. The amount of people. All right. You, you, you hear about the beehive with Beyonce and all of that, or the army with Rihanna. Like, <laughs> both of these artists, man, have a have a real strong fan base that's willing to defend them to high heavens. And you are who I'm talking to, fans. Because make no mistake about it, you and I don't know Drake as well as Kendrick knows Drake. And you and I don't know Kendrick as well as Drake knows Kendrick. These guys have toured together. These guys have been around each other. They're basically contemporaries, okay? And they both belong to the same industry that does some of the heinous things that we can think about, right? So make no mistake about it, when you're gonna defend one side or the other, it ain't that you won, it's just that it's just not your turn this time. This time you got it, but understood, understand like, Anything can come out tomorrow and all of a sudden you off the Kendrick bandwagon. You see what I'm saying? And you got to be very careful about putting yourself out there and really pumping your chest out 
and really trying to go after this person or that person. Because what people are finding out now, after doing a bit of digging on Drake, on his social media, in his ROMs, and just some of the moves he's made over the last decade or more, people starting to piece things together and some of the things that Kendrick is accusing him for is starting to seem a bit more believable. Now, I'm not trying to say whether he prefers to deal with underage women or not. That's not for me to say. I've never seen a man do it. I don't know. But I will say this. There is something to be said when, as a celebrity, okay, as a celebrity, especially men, you can basically have an abundance of women, okay? And it, it does make you wonder when somebody who has access to so many women at any point in time, when you choose to go after certain women that's associated with your homeboy or the, uh, your, your colleague, you know, a fellow rapper, and you always hear a lot of the beefs that Drake has, it usually ends up being because of a woman. And when that's always the case, it, you come across a bit thirsty. And I think a lot of guys probably on the other end of that is like, look, man, first of all, they're all sharing the same women. Like, let's 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 understand that. <laughs> and amongst them, if they're getting a thousand chicks and you're getting a thousand fifty, it ain't that big of a deal. OK, they're they're all dealing with the same type of women. All right. So. And, and I don't think any man is looking at Drake and saying, man, I wish I had those good looks. You know, <laughs> then I could get any chick I want. We understand. See, the thing with men, we understand that when we see athletes or we see entertainers and they able to get certain type of women, we understand that it's because of the money that they're making. Majority of it, it's because of that. It's like, all right, I know if I get to a certain status or a certain level in my life, I can have the same type of women. And then there are guys that are just, you know, you might be blessed with certain features, height, whatever, you know, you might, you might be, it's not hard for you to get women. So you don't even look at that like a big deal, right? But by and large, nobody's looking at Drake and saying, man, I wish I had those looks and I could go get the type of girl that I want. No. Okay. Let's, let's just stop that. So I believe the issues that he has amongst his peers is because he seems to be the type of person that's going to, you know, oh, you was just dealing with this person. I'm going to deal with you now. And now he uses that as a way to one up on the next man. And that's where a lot of his beefs come about. Now, he could do what he want. He's a single man. He's not married. We see the type of choices he's made. We see who his baby moms is, you know. So we, we understand, like, he's, he's not exactly, you, you know, <laughs> he, he'll deal with whatever. And I think when you have the reputation like like that, then it's real easy to piece the fact that, yo, you can't control yourself around women. And it seems like you're trying to get the one up on men. You're trying to get it also seems like you're trying to get to these women before they even get to a certain point. You know, the scissors, you know, like he's trying to get to some, to these women before they get to wherever they need to be at as far as big stars. And so just so he could be like, I was the one who, you know. I hit it first or whatever. He just seems like that type. And so when you do that, it's real easy for people to put things together and to say, yo, is he really doing this? Is he really targeting this, this you know, underage girls? Like you, you make it where <laughs> there's no reasonable doubt <laughs> anymore. Like it's, it's very, very, it's, it, you got to kind of look at it and be like, yo, eh. you look at him with a side eye, right? So, when you see that that's being exposed, I'll tell you this, even if, let's say he is doing that. And I'm not, I'm not saying that he is, I'm not saying he isn't, I don't know, but let's say that he is for argument's sake. Do you think the people around him wouldn't know that? Do you think the people who put money behind him don't know that the same way people like to believe that Jay-Z didn't know what R. Kelly was doing? When y'all went on tour, when you was around them a lot, if you're around somebody a lot, you do tend to see certain things about them that other people don't see. Okay. And so it's not too far fetched. All right. If that was the case. And then if that's the case, why other people don't say nothing? Right. Because a lot of them are doing the same things. 
And that's what I'm presenting in this video. And that's why I wanted to make this video to talk to those fans that is making this more than music or is taking this and saying, oh, this is a light skin versus dark skin thing. Or this is a this coast versus this country. Or it's it's about the rapper versus the, the singer, the R&B guy. You know? It's like, it ain't about none of that. It ain't about any of that. These guys live in a world where there's a lot of degeneracy. There's a lot of things that go on that both guys, if exposed correctly, would have things that make you doubt what it is that they're in it for. And I think J. Cole just looked at it and just said, you know what? I'm good. I'd rather be, I'd rather be considered a sucker, a rapper who just bounced out of this beef than somebody who's considered a guy who prefers young girls or a guy who likes to beat on his woman. I think he looked at it and he said, you know what? I can make a hit song. Everybody forget about it. I dip low for a couple months, enjoy my family, chill, come back with a couple rap songs, do a couple features. We right back at it. But at least nobody will look at me and question those things because those things are more egregious. And when people are starting to harass your family, harass your friends, like you, you hear about it all the time, how Drake said, oh, I, I, I tricked Kendrick and, you know, they was looking for information. I sold them bad information, like all this stuff. Like these guys are really out here offering money to people. And you got to ask yourself, who around you wouldn't take a hundred K to make up some shit about you? You got to ask yourself that. <laughs> so I think Drake, I think Kendrick just looked at it or J. Cole just looked at it and said, you know what? I'm cool. You guys have fun. Y'all get y'all y'all do what y'all do. I'ma chill over here. When 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 it all clears up and all you guys are uh, taking your hiatus, I'ma come right back with some tracks. I'ma get right back to it. I think it was a smart thing that Ken that J Cole. I keep saying Kendrick. That J Cole did was bounce out of it, you know. And and I, I get it now. Looking at how things transpired, and look at the 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 stain that is on Drake. And, and if he decides to continue, I, Lord knows what he may say about Kendrick and all the parties involved. I think it was a really small move for him to back out of it. So that's my video for today. Fans, be careful who you backing up. You, you don't know them. <laughs> you have no idea. So be very careful. It's all funny games until the truth come out. All right. Peace and love. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out.